Hi guys, welcome back to Candle of the Week, Michael, episode 22. So as you can see, I'm still wearing the same clothes that I wore for my live stream. That's because when I was doing the review of Brumbleberry fragrance oils, guys, I discovered this combination that it blew me away, okay? And I just decided today I had to make the Candle of the Week because I'm so inspired. I'm so in love with this. My God, guys, it's a combination of gardenia and sultry black jasmine. Oh my God, these two. Oh my goodness, from all the fragrance oils that I ordered from Brambleberry, guys, these two together, to me, it's like made in heaven. So I made this combination, guys, and I decided to call it Wicked Gardenia. Why? Because the main, the main player on this candle is Gardenia, which is my favorite flower, of course, and the, and this, uh, the sultry black jasmine in the background. It's, it gives such a complimentary vibe, guys. It's very romantic, very sensual, very, very feminine, very like, I don't know, it makes me fall in love, okay guys? So that, that's why I decided to make this beautiful candle on this flawless glass from 1617, which by the way, they are on sale. So take advantage of the sale, guys. And I'm gonna be using a single CD and number six, okay, to make this beautiful candle. And also, let's see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just empty both containers of oil. I believe these are 0 0.6, between 0.5 and 0.6. So whatever amount of oil I get, I'm gonna adjust the wax accordingly, okay? So let's get a better angle so you can see what I'm doing and I'll bring it back, yeah! Okay guys, so I got this brand new table in here. So now I have like an L-shaped configuration for the room so I can, be, I can be more productive. So I have this in here, this stainless steel table, guys. It has wheels, cast it so I can move it any, anywhere that I want to. Uh, but most likely it's gonna live in here from now on, you know? So I have in here my my wax melters in here, and I have a, my other two wax melters are on the knees on the shelf in here, so I can just pull them, pull them up, and just work on my candles, and this is gonna be life changing for me. Okay, so let's see, guys. So for this, for this candle, this is gonna take a full fill of 10 ounces, okay? 10 ounces of wax and fragrance oil. So let's see. The first thing I need to know is how much fragrance oil do I have for this candle? And for that, what I'm gonna be doing, guys, is I'm just gonna measure, I'm just gonna measure the the fragrance oil that I have on this sample, on this, yeah, this sam uh, sample size. I don't even know, this is not an ounce, this is like half an ounce, I think. So let's see, let's see. So the first one I'm gonna put in is gardenia. Okay, so this is giving me 5.26. So 5.2, 5.30, okay, 5.30, okay. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna add sultry black jasmine. And let's see in total, how much do I have? Okay, so I have one ounce. I have one ounce between the two of them. So if I have 10 ounce fill, it's very easy to figure out. So then I will need one ounce of fragrance oil and nine ounces of wax. That's gonna make it 10 ounces, okay guys? So very easy, okay? So let me just clean this first. But before I do anything, let me just put my gloves on because that's, this, has, this is made of glass and I just wanna, I don't wanna put any fingerprints in here. Okay, so I have my microfiber here, cloth. I'm telling you guys, I couldn't wait one more hour. I just need to make this candle because I'm so inspired. It just like when I was doing this review on my live stream, it just like it was so good. It was, it was talking to me, you know? I know when I forget oil, it's gonna touch my heart because I, it, it talks to me, you know? It, it just tells me, you know, oh my God. Um, it just hits me, you know? I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but it's, it's just that like it's so, so deep, you know, the feeling and you can either use two uh, double wick in here, but I like to use a single wick a CDN number six uh, because I find on the candles that I made in the past using a single CDN number six uh, with different fragrance oils, I get, I'm very successful, okay? So now I'm just gonna, uh, the table came an hour ago. Uh, my husband put it together for me. It was, it's very heavy. It has casters and it has also a shelf that I put underneath so I can put my wax um, on, on the wax melters. So and it's, I'm telling you, it's I needed to have this space because it's it's just it was getting out of control. Okay, let me just put it in, in the middle. Perfect. I'm just gonna make sure that I press really hard. Okay, and I'm just gonna put this on. You know, different kinds of uh, options that I have. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side. Now, for the wax, I'm I'm gonna need nine ounces of wax. So I'm gonna do it in the microwave. I have the wax right over here. It's very convenient, guys, having a shelf right in here. It's so convenient because, you know, you have it close to you. Okay, so I need nine ounces. 
I love using pastry cutter for that for this. Okay, nine ounces. I have nine point two here, so a tiny bit less. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. Nine point one is, is not gonna kill it. This is very convenient. You can just put it on aside and it. Okay, now that it got settled, you see it's nine point zero. Okay, perfect. So let me just put this in the microwave, and I'm gonna put it for five minutes. So let me just show you so you can see. You see. So now I have this table in here. And I have the other table in here. And as you can see, I have a shelf. I have in here the, the wax melters, the alcohol, everything handy. It's great because this is stainless steel. So you can just clean up with alcohol, guys. You don't have to worry about getting it dirty, you know? You could just take alcohol and then it just cleans right out. Okay, so let me read you the, the description for the gardenia, okay? This gardenia fragrance oil smells just like the real thing. A touch of rose and orchid enhance the scent and make it a bit more complex, yes. For sensuous, uh, for sultry black jasmine fragrance oil, you love this fragrance in, a hand, in handmade soap, perfume, lush bathrooms. It's a sophisticated mix of bergamot, cassis, rose, neroli, jasmine, and smoky moss. Okay, so this fragrance, the sultry black jasmine, I don't think it's made for, uh, for candles, but you know what, guys? I'm gonna try and see what happens. So, you know, when I did the when I did the uh, the review, I didn't take that into consideration. So, you know, I just didn't see, you know, whether or not it was okay for for candles or not. For now, I know. For now on, when I go and order some oils, uh, first I'm gonna investigate whether or not they're for candles or not. So it will be a good idea if, if they said it on the description, you know, that it's okay for candles. Okay, so the wax has one more minute to go. I'm gonna take some paper towels. Look how beautiful it is, guys. Yes! Because it's not that much wax. Let's see. Okay, it's 226. I'm gonna go right ahead and I'm gonna put the fragrance oil. Don't be afraid, guys. It's okay. Okay, and I'm gonna start stirring, okay? With uh, number seven wax, all you need to stir, to stir is only for 20 seconds. So let's check how warm it is. Okay, it says that it's 186. You see, it's good for you to introduce the oil when it's very hot. So it really binds very, uh, binds really fast, you know. And with this wax, all you need to do is just stir for 20 seconds and that's it. Come on, Wicked Gardenia. Come to life. Yes. How beautiful. Perfection. Now let me just put this inside. So whatever I have leftover wax, it doesn't get stuck into the sides of this of this vessel okay guys i'm gonna let the candle solidify and i'll be back with the with the end of the video okay yeah it's not completely solidified yet so i'm not gonna light it up guys but i just wanted to show you how beautiful finish i always get when i use number seven wax from 1617 okay look how beautiful it is and also these guys again this is the flawless glass and I believe it's still on sale on 1617. You might as well go check it out on the website. Okay, guys, so this is it. And for this, I'm using these two beautiful oils from Brambleberry, Sultry Black jas Jasmine, and Gardenia Eco Parks. This, uh, this blend together, guys, it's amazing. I highly recommend you try this, okay? Okay, guys, so thank you for joining me today, guys, on Candle of the Week, uh, episode number 22. Okay, I hope you to see you on next Sunday on my live stream. And guys, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel, okay? Share my content with all your friends and family, and don't forget to give a like to the video so it does great with the algorithm. And don't forget to go check out my website, candleromance.shop, so you can shop my beautiful candles, yes! And until the next one, guys, be well, have a wonderful week. Bye. Yes! Yes!